Hey everyone, Drew from Monkey's Tropicals Adventures here to do another fragrance review on What smells good to me? So what are we talking about? So, uh, full disclosure, the fragrance I'm going to talk about was sent to me. However, I am going to give you my honest review. So that being said, let's do this. So what are we talking about? Okay, what was your dream car as a kid, right? Not really big car enthusiast anymore, but as a kid, everyone wanted what? Either you wanted the Ferrari that Magnum PI drove, or you wanted a Lamborghini with the suicide doors, right? That they're called yeah suicide doors. crazy no those aren't suicide doors whatever the doors holy crap you can tell right not in the cars anymore that's what i wanted uh, i had a neighbor that actually worked for alpine stereo company and those were the stereos that were getting put into lamborghinis so when i go over to my friend's house uh all these cool pictures of lamborghinis and stuff it was just it was awesome it was like it was the coolest car ever cherry red candy apple red that's what i wanted as a kid so what are we discussing right keep talking about cars we're talking about the new fragrance dropped by lamborghini called invincible so i got this bottle sent to me this is what the bottle looks like it's very cool very sleek very classy sexy looking bottle it's a 4.2 ounce 125 ml bottle so, a couple things about this. One thing, do not grab it by the cap. I did that as I was taking it out and the cap does not really stay on. So, if you're really big about manhandling your fragrances, don't pull it by the cap or it will fall apart. Also, the atomizer on it is not the best, but it does. Look at that. It's very affordable, so I can spray that all over. Okay, what does it smell like? Well. What is like the number one fragrance right now that everyone wants to make a clone or a take on, right? What is it? It's Aventus, right? I'm sure everyone and their mom has heard about Aventus. That's what I got immediately when I sprayed this fragrance. Uh, I've got about a bottle and a half of different batches of Aventus. I've got uh, batch number 13W01 right here and like a 30 ml bottle. Um, so I was just comparing it. It smells like Aventus. So I'm just gonna do a breakdown of what Aventus has. Um, Aventus got black currant, Italian bergamot, French apples, pineapple, rose, dry birch, Moroccan jasmine, patchouli, musk, oak moss, ambergrass, and vanilla. Um, the Lamborghini Invincible has oak moss, musk, black vanilla, ambergrass, Moroccan jasmine, patchouli, and rose. So the things they have in common are the rose, the Moroccan jasmine, patchouli, musk, oak moss, ambergrass, and vanilla. Those are all the notes they have in common, which are basically uh, the mid and base notes of Aventus minus the dry birch, which is in the mid notes. What it's not listed in this is black currant, Italian bergamot, French apples, and pineapple. So although it's not listed, um, I don't get, I get a citrus vibe for sure. I get some of that bergamot. I don't get any apple. I don't get any black currant. And the pineapple is very, very light, if any. So that's kind of where I see the two differ. Definitely heavy, heavy birch. Even though birch is not listed, I get a serious, serious heavy birch um, vibe out of the Invincible. So with that being said, um, I look at it as, as an Aventus clone, which isn't a bad thing because um, some people don't want to drop $435 for a 100 ml bottle of Aventus, where you now have change in ownership and you have very different batches. I was a huge fan of the original Aventus when it first came out. I remember being in Nordstrom when it first came out. And the lady behind the counter is like, oh, you gotta smell this new Creed, because I was really into Creed's when I first started collecting fragrances. And I liked it. I really enjoyed the beginning bottles of Creed. I liked the fruitier batches. 
um, as it got smokier, it wasn't much of my thing. I never purchased a bottle. All that bottle and a half I have of decants was actually gifted to me. Um, so uh, I just never purchased a bottle of mail. So when you look at the price, you can find this 4.2 ounce, 125 ml for about 25 bucks. Uh, I will list below uh, all the different places you can find this fragrance. So for around $25 for a big bottle of juice like this that smells pretty much like the newer batches of Aventus, much smokier, you're not getting as much pineapple of any. So, but I'm not really getting a lot of pineapple in the oil, in the newer batches of Aventus that I have in my decant uh, case. So I'm okay with that. It's still a really nice smelling fragrance. It's an EDT formula, so you're not going to get the uh, longevity that you would out of an EDP. Um, but it projects, really, really projects hard, just like Aventus right out of the spray, out the gate. My office is going to smell like Aventus now. Um, it just, it's that really nice Aventus vibe that you've come to love of the newer fragrances, if that's what you love now is the newer bottles. Um, longevity. I got about to about the six hour mark and it became a skin scent, but I'm now, I'm about 11 hours now. I'm at 11 hours and I can still smell it on my wrist. So it's still a skin scent at 11 hours. It's not, it's not completely dissipated. Like, I don't know, like real Creed Aventus cologne, which is gone in like two hours. So, um, it's got some staying power for sure. It's got some great projection. It's one of those fragrances that um, just does great year round. Beautiful this time of year, right? Spring, summer, really nice, just fresh, clean, um, kind of uplifting scent, right? There's just, there's something about Aventus that has obviously made so many companies want to duplicate or make their own version of. And um, yeah, it's a great fragrance, I can see why. So we've got the 4.2 ounce for about 25 bucks. Um, if you were to compare for note for note, uh, they share almost identical to the mid and base notes of Aventus. However, nothing listed as far as the top notes. However, um, I, I can smell a little bit of pineapple in there. Maybe that's just my mind messing with me because it does smell so much like Aventus. But everything else, it smells like Aventus. Definitely dry birch for sure, even though it's not listed in the notes. So if you're a big fan of Aventus and uh, you want uh, an, a very, very affordable fragrance to knock around, um, I would say the blind buy on this, I don't think you're gonna get gypped uh, if you're comparing it to the new bottles of Aventus. Um, that's what I'm doing, I'm comparing it to my newer um, decants that I have and it is really, really, really close. Um, however, like I said, you're just, you're not getting uh, the pineapple vibe that really you're not really getting with the newer Aventuses anyways, in my opinion. Older versions, absolutely. That's why the juice was a different color the whole bit. Um, and I'm getting lemon, forgot to mention. I'm getting lemon, which I do get in Aventus in itself. Um, so you're getting that citrus vibe. You're definitely getting that dry um, birch vibe. And what I noticed too, because I've, I've worn this a couple different times, is the vanilla uh, when it dries down. I like the vanilla actually a little bit more in this. I think it, they, there's a little bit more vanilla in this than there is in Aventus, a little bit more creamy. Um, that kind of came out more like around like the two, three hour mark. Uh, it definitely faded, but uh, I did notice that for sure. I was like, like I said, the lemon uh, was definitely present as well. I forgot to mention that. but. All in all, for the price, you're getting something very, very Aventus close um, and just like a good fragrance for this time of year and just like a really good smelling fragrance overall. Can't beat that. When, you, when it comes down to affordability and good smelling you know, fragrance, you know, it, it's, it's definitely worth a blind buy if you're wondering. Um, follow them over on Instagram. I will leave the link below. Follow me on Instagram at Monkey's Tropicals Adventures. Please like and subscribe, leave your comments below, and I do my best to try to answer them as soon as possible. And uh, I will see you again for another fragrance review. Okay.